chow-chow po yan. Ah, chow-chow na pala to. Magkano yung mga chow-chow mo? Binobole lang tayo eh. ba? Diba? Kung meron yung sinasabi ng poverty porn, ba? Diba? Ito, anong klase to? It's a horrible, horrible existence for man's best friend. And then you call yourselves puppy lovers or dog lovers. Can you even watch this? If you're watching this video, baka yung asong kayakap mo ngayon, yung mami niya ganito. Hi guys! Kamusta? Kwentuhan ko muna kayo. Naisipan namin, me and my team, na gumawa ng reaction videos tungkol doon sa mga bilihan ng mga aso. So, sinimulan natin yun a few weeks back and it has been gaining a little bit of traction. Napansin ko, sinasuggest na ngayon ni YouTube yun mga iba-ibang vlogs at iba-ibang episodes nila sa akin. Napansin ko din yung mga nagbablog tungkol sa pagpunta sa mga bilihan ng aso na to. They get a lot of comments. They get a lot of views, like thousands, and just uploading it in just a few hours and then they get thousands of views because maybe YouTube is suggesting this kind of content. Pero hindi ko maintindihan, madami palang gumagawa ng ganitong klaseng content. I mean, yeah, it's original kasi it's different each time. The format is the same. Dahil finifeed na ako ng finifeed ni YouTube ng mga ganitong klaseng content, I realized na ang daming gumagawa ng kaparehas na content and subtly they're selling the puppies to you. A lot of people don't realize na malaki yung impact na yun para doon sa general welfare ng mga aso. If we probably have the same wavelength and we have the same worldview, samahan niyo ako. If not, don't even watch this video. Baka meron lang din ako masabi na masasaktan kayo. Pero yung mga videos na gagawin natin, this is gonna be a compilation of the stuff na mapapanood natin, giving a few feedback, uh, a little bit of criticism. Um, again, I do not know anything. Don't take my word for it. I am just a learner, just like you guys. Uh, meron lang akong ilang experience. Sa mga hindi nakakilala sa akin, I am Dog Coach Francis and I have training dogs for over a decade now. Over 10 years of experience training dogs for basic obedience, aggression, pet dog training. We have created movies, films, and commercials. So at least kahit pa paano meron akong konting alam. Alright, so first video, we're just clicking randomly. For this episode, titignan natin and then doing quick reactions and then we'll be moving on. So, let's watch this first one. CQ, ibabagsak presyo na nila ang mga fur babies para hindi na sila tumagal sa lockdown dito sa Kaltimar. Umpisa pa lang, di ba? So, uh, ibabagsak daw nila yung presyo ng mga fur babies para hindi na daw sila tumagal dito sa pet center na to for... The ECQ. Babagsak mo yung presyo. Diba? I don't, hindi ko masabing there's something wrong with that. Pero, okay. Kailangan lang i-dispose na lahat yan. So, the puppies are being treated as if they are commodities. Na pag hindi mo nagamit, mag-expire. Diba? Pero syempre, these are not just commodities. Na pag na-expire, tapan mo na. Kuha ka ng bagong supply. Diba? These are animals we're talking about. They have feelings, they have emotions, and they're thinking on their own. Diba? So kapag nakita nyo tong mga banderitas, paligid na dito ng pet supplies. So nandito na tayo ngayon sa Carty Mar. Samahan nyo kami kasi bibili rin kami ng mga pet supplies ni Pinat, ang aming baby beagle. At the same time, magka-canvas na rin kami ng aming bully. Para syempre may kilaro na si Pinat sa bahay. So sana makahanap tayo. Ano bang hinahanap mo, Daddy O? Syempre, ang hinahanap namin yung kulay butter kasi papangalaan na namin siyang butter. Kung baga, clear lang yung, light lang yung kulay niya and babae para hindi sila magbubugbugay ni Pinat. <laughs> In 3 to 4 months. Ayan. Sana and, mayroong pasok sa budget and mayroong pasok sa criteria namin. And magka-canvas na rin kami ng iba pa ang mga fur babies dito. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Sabi nila maganda daw sila ng mga puppies dito. Well, again, you've been following our channel. I do not recommend getting the dogs here. So since maging ECQ na nga, magkuklose na yung mga shops nila dito. Pero open pa rin sila for online inquiries and online orders. Then pwede kayo mag-meet up within the area. Alam nyo, marami ako na, na, narinig na horror stories dyan sa mga meetup na yan. Kasi nga, yung mga photos na papakita nila sa inyo, minsan iba doon sa actual na dogs na ibibigay sa inyo and magugulat na lang kayo minsan nandiyan na yung puppy eh anong gagawin mo di ba so yan lahat naman na ipapakita nating aso ngayon vaccinated na yan and then kapag bibilhin niyo na bibigyan na kayo ng proof ng vaccination yan and yung information ng aso again so kadalasan din naman sa mga ganitong stores so sabi nila vaccinated pero yun vaccination, questionable, at pag dinala nyo sa isang licensed vet, usually they will have to restart that again kasi hindi nila tatanggapin. Kailangan talaga meron PRC number or license number yun vet. At ang pinaganda nga dito sa Ian Savannah's uh, pet shop, ang dami nila ditong dogs o oh, at malinis yung mga cages. Mer okay, so maraming mga dogs. Tanong, saan lang galing yung mga dogs? So... Again, we're trying to be critical of the business practice here, not the not anybody. Okay? Not any person. Ito pa mirin yan, teacup size to. Alam. Again, so ginamit na naman yung teacup. Alam na natin, walang teacup. Ito naman, chihuahua, 18,000. Okay, so yung chihuahua na to na nag -yon, okay, that's a body language. If you want to learn more about body language, I will link a description somewhere around here. Or sa description sa baba. Aww, kamukhang kamukha ni Peanut. Hi! Ayan. So shoutout nga pala sa mga kaibigan natin sa Philippine Bigo Club. Meron tayong mga ilang naging guests sa ating podcast from the ano, from the Bigo group. So sila ang pagkakaalam ko ayaw nila na kumuha ka ng mga beagle sa mga gantong pet stores kasi ano again alam nila na very important na you get it from a good breeder so yung ganyan kuya hindi na lumalaki yan oh kunting laki na lang yan that's false lalaki pa yan kasi 2 months pa lang siya lumalaki ang puppy up to around 4 5 actually 6 months para makita niyo yung full size nila Okay, tapos sabi 2 months pa lang siya diyan or 2 months na siya. Dapat nasa puppies pa na sa ano eh, nasa litter pa siya kung tutusin eh. Pero ilang linggo na siyang nandito? 'Yun ang tanong ko. Or ilang araw? Pwedeng kararating lang? Pwedeng isang linggo na siya? Kasi kung isang linggo na siya from this filming na nandiyan, tapos 2 months pa lang, pwedeng mas masyadong maaga nakuha doon sa litter. Okay, so ito yung mga bagay na kailangan yung malaman guys. No? Um, again, kung talagang dog lover ka, hindi ka bibili dito eh. Hindi ka bibili ng puppy dito eh. Yung talagang uh, marunong at dog lover talaga. Pero again, appeal to emotion. So cute eh. Pinapatayo kita. Ayaw mo tumayo. Ngayon naman papansin ka. Ha? Ayan. So sabi ko nga sa inyo, ito sa mga gantong klaseng pet stores, iba-ibang aso, iba-iba yung pinanggagalingan. Pero never nilang ipapakita sa inyo kung ano yung tsura ng magulang. Which is again, Tuguro, this is enough. Let's move on to the next video. Hello guys! So nandito tayo ngayon sa Arangke Pet Shop. Arangke! Ah, okay. Arangke. Yung Arangke Pet Shop guys, may kita nyo yan dito sa may along recto. Okay, so na-review na natin yung Arangke dito pero tingnan lang natin natin kung paano nila deliver yung content. Malilit na po na natin. Oh, eto. Ito po, chow-chow po yan. Ah, chow-chow na pala to. Magkano yung mga chow-chow mo? Um, so again, iba yung photo at saka dun sa actual. Minsan na pinapakita nila, meron chance na hindi totoo yung aso or it's different or meron chance na meron sakit yung aso. Uh, siguro what I'm showing you now and what we're trying to be very critical about is yung paraan ng pagde-deliver ng gantong klaseng vlog hindi ko maintindihan ang daming views. Every week meron, or if not every week, every other week meron mag upload Ito yung gagawin nila, ilalabas nila yung gantong klaseng content na price list. Updated price list. Pinakamura. Updated price list. 
cute na pets. Ito yung mga keyword na ginagamit nila eh. Updated price list. Guys, nagbabago ba yung presyo? Eh di ba lahat naman yan negotiable? Di ba? Dahil nyo pa si, si ano? Dahil nyo pa yung oil price na nagtataas at nagbababa. This kind of content is getting a lot of views from you people. Or at least for some people. Again, I'm trying to watch my words here. I don't want to be libelous. I don't want to pick fight. Pero, I don't even want to hear uh, what they're saying uh, um, sa video na to. Kasi, binobole lang tayo eh. Hayaan ko lang na, ayan, let me just play this. Ayan, so hayaan ko lang na tumatakba itong mga videos na to. I mean, you can watch it. Ito. So, diba? And, uh, you can remove the video. And makikita mo lang yung mga aso, yung mga pusa. Obvious naman na nakakaawa sila eh. So sana yung mga content creators natin is, you do not encourage this. Pinapakita natin yung ganito. Okay, fine. Are you educating? ba? Diba? Pinapakita mo yung kalakaran. Yung running price. And then yung mga tao na ba- probably bago lang. Gusto nila magkaroon ng aso. Gusto nila magkaroon ng pusa. Dapat bago natin pag-usapan nga yung presyo, pag-usapan muna natin yung welfare ng mga hayop. Welfare ng mga cats and dogs, parrots, birds, ng mga pinapakita nyo sa mga content nyo, guys. ba? Diba? Kung meron yung sinasabi ng poverty porn, ba? Diba? Eto, anong klase to? Comment nyo nga sa, ano, sa comment section. Ano sa palagay nyo? Bakit meron ganito na content at pinapanood ng tao? Um, instead na makatulong kayo kung talagang pet lover kayo instead na makatulong kayo dito you're actually promoting this kind of business practice na alam nating mali I am for the animals okay and naintindihan ko na gusto natin lahat kumita ng pera mahirap ang buhay pero please not at the expense of the animals okay so I, I'm done with this tingnan natin yung iba I think that's enough. Kasi halos pare-parehas lang din naman ang ginagawa nila. Updated price list. So naglabas sila ngayon. Wait mo next week. Meron pa niyong bagong price list. Same shops. Same people. Maybe different dog. Pero same situation. Oh, okay. So eto na yan. Second part ng video natin. Papakita ko sa inyo. Siyempre wala tayong mga uh, content na ganito sa Pilipinas, tingin tayo ng mga videos kung saan possibly kinukuha yun mga aso. At least, karamihan kasi sa mga aso na binibenta sa mga pet stores ay nanggagaling sa isang puppy mill. Siyempre, hindi nila ipapakita yon, Hindi nila gagawing content. Um, ganito, chances are ganito yun magiging itsura ng mga aso. Okay, so let's watch this video. Oh man. Alam niyo yung mga ganito, medyo nang speechless ako eh. Kasi... Meron kaming mga napuntahan din ng mga aso talaga na obvious na the dog was abused. Nakita ko mismo with my own eyes. Ginagawang, kumbaga, when they rescue the puppies usually, yung mga nare-rescue nila, they're ano eh. Alam mo yun, every time na magkakaroon ng period yung aso, they will study it. They would force the dog. Even though the dog, the mommy dog, has not fully recovered physically. Kasi very stressful yan eh. Manganganak siya, magpapagatas siya. And the dogs are just really stressed. Tapos hindi naalagaan. Katulad to, itong mga videos na to. And naka, nakakadurog ng puso. Yeah, parang may problema pa dun sa gum. Oh. 
Okay, so tingin pa tayo ng ibang stories. So totoo yan, no? usually yung mga aso na nare-rescue, kahit na maganda intention natin, they're broken. They don't know how to react. So mali yung pagkakabreed, hindi nailabas, hindi nagkaroon ng interaction, ang daming problema. And this is a reality. So yung mga ibang aso na nakukuha nila, nabibili doon sa mga nung pet shops na pinakita natin kanina, Imagine this is their family member. Could be the mom, it could be the dad, it could be a litter mate. And this is a side of the story or side of the coin that you do not see. We do not see. So, skip natin yan. Let's find other videos para mapakita natin. Again, coach, yung mga videos naman na pinapakita mo, ano eh, mga lumang videos. Na, well, it's so hard. Uh, even for the authorities to send to track down puppy mills, it's so hard. Kasi pwede na lang sabihin, alaga ko lang naman na aso eh. ba diba? Pero it is really tough to track this down kasi kadalasan din ng mga suppliers ng mga ganito is puppy mills. You're talking about food that is contaminated, water filled with algae sometimes, dogs that are emaciated. It's a horrible, horrible existence for man's best friend. And then you call yourselves puppy lovers or dog lovers. Pero can you even watch this? Iko ata kaya kaya ng gawin to. Jeez. This is the life of a puppy mill dog. Melanie Kahn with the Humane Society of the United States says many puppy mills have hundreds, some even thousands of dogs. Alam nyo, mahirap gawin tong, ano, tong mga ganito pag undercover. Again, and we don't really know where they're coming from. Pero, siguro, maswerte lang din. Meron sila mga footage ng ganito na pwede natin makita. Pero chances are, who would say na hindi nangyayari to dito sa Pilipinas? Kung dog lover ka, you would not get puppies from there, from those stores. If you're watching this video, baka yung asong kayakap mo ngayon, yung mami niya ganito. Yun kapatid niya ganito. And then you call yourselves pet lovers. They never get to have human interaction like most of the dogs that we own ourselves. It's a horribly sad experience for these dogs. Which leads to dogs with severe physical and emotional problems dogs scared of anything including grass because they've never seen it before. We see horrible physical conditions, problems with the paw pads from being on those wire floors for their whole lives. Okay, so I hindi ko matapos. We can only make an assumption na kung nangyayari to sa ibang bansa and to a really progressive nation just like the United States. Hindi ba nangyayari to sa atin? It's business. So, those puppies has to come from somewhere. And on a consistent basis, kailangan meron silang supply. Kasi, yun yung negosyo mo eh. Paano kakikita? Eh, coach, you're... Ano naman, nakikinabang ka din naman eh. In a system. Kasi, you're a dog trainer. You make money by training dogs. True! Pero I don't want training these kind of dogs. One, they have lots of issues. Two, it's super hard. Emotionally then, not just for me, but even for the pet parent, pag nakita ko nahihirapan sila. And there's a lot of videos online that you can search yourself. Okay? Na galing sa puppy mill. Yeah. 
and some bread for pet stores. So we work closely with USDA and AKC to make sure that our puppies are coming from happy homes. Yeah, and happy homes. So if any of them have any critical violations, we will use them. Okay, I'll stop this. I don't want it anymore. So, saan ang gagaling yung mga puppies? Hindi natin alam. Baka yung iba talagang nanggaling talaga sa isang well-bred na, na breeder or mga professional breeder or an ethical breeder. Hindi eh. Kung ethical breeder ka, you won't even sell it sa mga pet stores eh. I'm all of a sudden lots for words now after makita ko kasi I, I really don't like seeing those kasi it just really uh, rips my heart apart and when you see some people see yung mga gantong content sa YouTube natutuwa sila kasi cute pati mga content creators they find it cute and again they want to encourage you to purchase from these stores have a business with them but when I see this kind of content, these videos, I see the other side of the coin. At some point, meron na saktan na aso, meron na abuso. Pwede nyo siguro justify. Actually, I don't know how you'll justify it, pero... Or baka sarado lang yung isip ko. And I'm sorry if you think it that way when you're watching this video. Maybe... In my own little way, ito, me and my team will just create content and try to educate to counter this kind of videos out there. Or until someone makes us stop, we'll continue to try to educate the public and be the voice of these dogs. We want our, the people in our community to be educated to be the defenders of the voice of the helpless and if you share our worldview we'll help you out for the animals we have dedicated our life for the dogs hopefully i can somehow change someone's life uh doing this video but i guess that's it i nawala na ko ng ng bosses bigla See, I get emotional sometimes with these kind of videos. I don't even watch it. Nakakadurog ng puso. Kasi I've seen some of the bad stuff na hindi nyo nakita. And it's not even good for for the public. So, I guess I'll end this video. Um, comment lang kayo. Let's have a discussion. What do you think? I'll see you in the next one.